Okay, moving on to question 25. The diagram shows an isosceles triangle, uh, PQR, in which PR equals QR. Well, if PR equals QR, then I'm as well just writing the letter P there. And they're both the same, okay? And angle PQR is X. Incidentally, that's X as well then. If this is an isosceles triangle, the two base angles are both the same. Okay, and we have to show that sine X over P is sine 2X over R. Okay, so let's get on with the maths. There's the triangle again written out with the changes I put on it. There's P and there's X. Now, uh, applying the sine rule to this, P over sine X is R over sine. Now, that one there, that angle there, is 180 degrees take away 2x, so that's it in algebra there, okay? So we've now introduced uh, the letter P, this letter sine x, the letter R, and, um, okay, you can see us getting closer and closer to what they want there, okay? Um, invert both sides, that's mathematically fine. P over sine x, sine x over P, is sine 180 take 2x, over R, that's perfectly acceptable. Now we're going to expand a sine 180 take 2x. Now if you look for the expansion for sine A take B in your um, formula list. Sine 180 cos 2x take cos, the first one cos 180 sine 2x. Well the sine of 180 is 0, so this actually becomes 0. Take away the cos of 180 is negative 1, so that becomes plus sine 2x, 0, plus sine 2x is, of course, just sine 2x. So the sine of 180 take 2x is sine 2x. So I can replace that with just sine 2x, and that gives me my formula that they want us to get. Okay? State the value of x when p equals r. Well, if p equals r, we have an equilateral triangle. They're all the same, yeah. So the size of x would be 60 degrees, okay? And then part b, part 2, using the fact that p is r, solve your equation to justify your stated value of x, okay? So we had sine x over p is sine 2x over r. If p equals r, we can actually just ignore them. Sine 2x and sine x are both being divided by the same thing. So they must, in fact, be equal themselves. So sine x must equal to sine x cos x. That's my expansion for sine 2x to sine x cos x. Take the sine x over to sine x cos x take sine x and our usual tactic here is to factorise so I'm going to take sine x out as a common factor times 2 cos x take 1 sine x times 2 cos x 2 sine x cos x take sine x times 1 gives sine x yep, I'm happy with that so sine x could be 0 so we have, and we've done this before 0, 180 and 360 2 cos x take 1 is 0 Cos x would have to be a half, so x would have to be 60. Okay, don't forget that x is an angle within a triangle, so really it can't be 0, 180 or 360. That was our solutions to sine x. Um, the solutions uh, for the other one, cos x equaling a half, gave us um, 60 and uh, 300, yeah? So, 60, x equals 60 is your only sensible solution to that. So that's me written it out formally. x equals 60 is the only sensible solution within the context of the question.